Jeff with Island Hopper TV and today I'm coming to you from Adelaide, Australia. This is South Australia. It's a couple thousand miles away from Perth and in between Perth and Adelaide is not too much. But if you go towards Melbourne, you'll see a little bit more. But anyways, we're gonna do a walking tour here. I'm gonna show you guys around uh, Adelaide. It's my first time here. So let's get started and crush up the likes if you're excited for this video. So right here you have the railway station casino. Let's go see what's up over there. All right, so we're gonna go into this uh, train station here and see what's down here. But while we do, let's talk about Adelaide. So there's about 1.3 million people that live here. And it was actually one of the first uh, freely established British colonies or settlements in around 1830s. So. Sydney was set up as a penal colony, Perth a penal colony, Adelaide was actually set up for free settlement. Uh, people who came here from Britain were fairly wealthy actually, so it was one of the first free settlements. Anyways, this area right here is the railway station. Let's see how it works around here. Where can I go? Let's see, I'll get a metro car. Let's try it out. So for a regular day trip, it's $10.60. Let's see here, concession day trip is $5.30 AUD. So here I am next to the university and the library right here. Here's the South Australia Museum. Free entry into the Australia Museum. Got a story of dogs. That looks like my dog, Larry Berto. <laughs> All right. And right next to the Museum of South Australia is the Art Gallery of South Australia. And if you want some coffee, you can get some coffee or a, two scoops of a ice, shaved ice. So here's the Art Gallery of South Australia. Pretty cool. If you're into art, come on and check it out. Let's see. So the Museum of South Australia is free. They do ask for a donation if you're interested. And this is the Art Museum. Pretty cool place. You can definitely get some ideas walking around here for art, if you like. What is this? <laughs> what in the world is this? Spiderweb. There's a lot to see in here, so. Come on by and check it out. What is that? Alright, so now we are on to the Federal Hall Central Market here in Adelaide. Adelaide's known for its international markets. And this one here is the big ticket, the big kick. So let's go for a stroll through the Central Market. Fresh produce. The bakery over there. Yummy. This is great. Reminds me of uh, South America, actually. A little bit more clean and tidy, though. I've seen these in um, Canada as well. Oh, this place is huge too. That 
That's a pretty interesting uh, structure there. And right next to the University of Adelaide. Let's take a look at what this looks like. This is more of the indoor commons area. An intellectuals manifestation zone. You can see they've got architecture, bar smith library, teaching room, so much going on here. It's like a pretty good destination to go to college. So this area here is known as the Grundy Gardens and this is the Kirawara Para. It's a river, stream, whatever you want to call it. And you can actually take one of these uh, river cruise boats. This one here is called the Popeye 3, up and down the Kirawara Para. Right there is the downtown area, and there goes the, <laughs> the boat. So, Next up, we'll be heading over to the Botanical Gardens of South Australia here. And they actually have a zoo right next door. So let's uh, keep this tour rolling. All right, so here we are at the Adelaide Zoo. So this is the sanctuary for the Adelaide Zoo. If you guys like koalas or any sort of marsupial or kangaroo, this zoo is going to have that in abundance. A little marsupial there. We exist, save species from extinction, connect with people and nature. And in case you're wondering how much it is to attend the zoo, that's 37 Aussie dollars for an adult and 20 for a kid. That means it's about 25 US dollars for an adult. So, hope you guys enjoy when you come here. And I gotta go on to the botanic garden, but I wanted to stop by the zoo and show you guys. So here we are walking alongside the botanic garden. Looks like a big old dragon fruit. Is that what that is? It's a huge dragon fruit. Adelaide seems like a semi-tropical climate. For example, Today, the weather is in the 90s, and then it'll drop all the way into the 70s two days from now, and it's summertime. So the weather out here really does bounce around. But let's head over here and see if we can get in to the Botanic Garden. All right, so here we are at the Botanic Garden, and this is the North Lodge open from 10 to 3. As you know, I have a garden at my house. I really like botanic gardens and learning about different flora and fauna from around the world. I don't know what that is, but that is cool. I bet that could grow in Arizona. What is that? It is called a Dracaena Draco dragon tree. All right, we all know what that is, a banana tree. Those are really hard to grow where I live in Arizona. Those look like corn. All right, so this here is the rainforest exhibit in Adelaide, like a humid uh, rainforest kind of climate. Botanical Garden. And if you're into wine, this is the Wine Center of Australia. So let's go see what's up with the National Wine Center. We'll go in here and see, see if we can get some wine. Wine tasting, you get one of these cards here and you have to give her your bank card. <laughs> and she's gonna show us how it works. All right, so we get your cards. You just insert it in here. So you see that's your balance, so that's how much you spent. Then you select the size of the glass that you like, so this is tasting, half glass and full glass. Once you've selected the wine that you'd like to try, you just grab a glass 
from the shelves, put it under here, and press and hold for a couple of seconds until the wine starts pouring. So it's pretty easy. Okay. Great. Good quality, really well made. And that's like the flagship of South Australia. It's the Shiraz. Yes, Shiraz from Barossa. So hold it. Yep. Yeah. So press and hold. The expensive Shiraz. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. That's good. So, this is Sparkling Shiraz from Long Long Creek, South Australia. So, if you want to do some wine tasting, come on over here. This is Sparkling Shiraz. Mm-mm-mm. That's refreshing. And now we are crossing the road here. As mentioned previously in other videos, as we pass Scott's Church, Adelaide has carried several different names with it, including Church City, conservative state of Adelaide, and also the state of Southern Australia, I mean, is called the Festival State. So, this road we're coming up to now is called Rundle Street, and it's the main, it's the big ticket. It's the main drag. It's where you wanna be. So, we're coming up onto the main drag. We're gonna walk around Rundle Mall and get started here as we go through Adelaide. You can see a popular mall area here. It's right next to the University of South Australia and Adelaide University. So you can see there's lots of young people around here and a lot of cultural diversity. Let's keep this tour moving. It's actually a road. You can see an ethnically diverse place with music and people from all over the world living here. China and India and all the places in between. Adelaide's a true global city, I would call it. Here's the Adelaide Arcade. Let's go down here. Nice and air conditioned under here. Ah, get a haircut. It might be time for me to get a haircut. Watch it, watches and remotes. Let's see, they got the salon right there. I don't need that. Need a vacuum repair? Got to keep that vacuum up to speed. Is there a place in here you can do your laundry? I wonder. Here's a toy shop. Yeah, man. A really crowded area here. And now, another road actually begins where you can drive your car. Hey, a sunglass hut. Let's see, Opal Mine. Australian owned and Australian made Opals. Opals actually are a really popular stone here in Australia. Look at that. Beautiful. Wow. In the rock. It's pretty good. Look at that. You got Chatsworth nuts here. For all you nuts. All you nutty people. And a chocolate factory. I actually seen my very first chocolate bar. They have chocolate bars here. As in like 
you know, alcohol bar, but chocolate bar, coffee bar kind of thing. This here is King William Street, going this way. This is not called Rundle Street. I don't know what it's called, but it's kind of turned into a road. I think it's called... Is it King William Street now? Hindley Street. H-I-N-D-L-E-Y. Hindley. You got a downtown nightclub, Nose Arcade Casino, you got a spa, massage, laser, facial nails, waxing, which we see everywhere, literally. Every city on earth. Egg waffle. Oh, some Indian food. And I wanted to show you actually a beach here. There's many beaches in Adelaide. You just have to come about 30 minutes outside of town by uh, tram or bus. And this one here is called Glen Elg. So this is one of the more popular beach destinations that you'll come to in Adelaide. If you were to go that way, let's just call it south, but it's more southeast, you would go to Brighton. There's other beaches that are north of here, along this uh, basically white sand coastline that goes north and south. The other beach that's pretty popular is called Semaphore Beach. But like I said, it's just like one big, long, white sand beach. This beach is called Glen Elk. The town is Glen Elk. There's North Glen Elk, South Glen Elk. And you can take a train straight down here from the downtown area. Pretty close to the airport, actually. Stay tuned for the next episode and we'll see you on the next one.